start the regular season by selecting your season goal. and we all know he's got the speed to get behind any defense. What I think is underrated about his game is his toughness and his ball. And the Raiders have got him. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Farrell, that got in there to bring him down. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. Now they get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. No. Watson to throw on third and one. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. So when you saw him dump it off to the back, did you think he was going to pick up the first down there? <laughs> well, I knew one thing. It wasn't his primary target. At least it didn't look like it. Turned out to be the play they needed, though. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And he will bring this all the way up to the 30-yard line. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. After the interception, here's Watson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. Well, starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the... That had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm-up QB2 is bringing the back up. I mean, my goodness, you take them down, you don't score points. You know I'm being totally facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game, but they like to get... And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Now a we'll play fake, and it's Watson. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now it's Watson, the bootleg, escaping the pressure right. He's going to look deep for more, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He was trying to go back to more there. That'll bring up second down. 
Throwing again, it's Watson. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And there's a catch by Christian McCaffrey, and he plays a huge role in the passing attack. He's caught over 100 passes each of the last two years, so he is a defense's nightmare because how do you identify? The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. And 10. Throwing again. Watson, that's to McCaffrey complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 16 yards, a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. But this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200 plus right now. It's a loss of one. Brings up second and goal. At the Raiders, one yard. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. All right, the offense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. He'll get three up to midfield. Number 22, Christian. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Carolina Panthers. And there's Christian McCaffrey with another run. One CMC, as he's known in the Carolina area. Easily the most productive running back in the league last season. 2,392 yards from scrimmage. He's just so dangerous every time he gets the football. Whether you hand it to him, throw it to him out of the backfield, just imagine if they have the guts to let him return kicks as well. This guy is a true triple threat. First down. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. First down, it's Watson. And this is caught at the eight. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Three more yards. 23 yards, the final tally. First and goal at the 5 yard line. Now it's Watson. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. At the nine, back to throw. Watson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will take it across from Panthers. Touchdown. Christian. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Now a first down throw, Watson. 
And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The coverage that time excellent by Nevin Lawson. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to... It got his man complete! And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big pick up of 38. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Watson. Buying time to, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Cleland Farrell picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half, and if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so they can throw the... And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off by Jeff Heath. He's at the 50, 30, 20... 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson. That is caught at the seven. That's up. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. At the six-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey on his way. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They start on the ground with McCaffrey, and he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. The ball carrier. The last run got six, now second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during the rundown, because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well, because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. That's good. We're on Carolina. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first and 10, Watson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Good coverage there by Trayvon Mullen. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Flush to his right. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. More yards. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. First and 10 at the... Watson on first down. He's going to air one out for Anderson. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 20-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. On the option, here's Watson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Taking it in from... So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Now Watson. He's going to look deep for more. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw again. Watson, he's going to look deep for more. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. Brings up third down and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson, he'll buy some time right. Got his target, Samuel. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. But that certainly makes you think back to last year's wild card round when Deshaun Watson got out of the pocket to his right, found Taiwan Jones for one of the plays of the year. This one wasn't quite as dramatic, but still, an excellent play and big yardage nonetheless. Brings up second and 10. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. I got you. I got you. Now Watson off the bootleg. That's caught. It's Thomas. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And goal to go. Here's Watson. Forced out to his left. And he's going to keep. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown.